So it's Broadband World Forum 2016 at the Excel Centre in London. I'm here with Peter Bell from OpenReach. Peter, good to see you again. And you. Um, so obviously Broadband World Forum, a lot of talk here about broadband services, broadband networks and new technologies coming out. Yeah. We've heard a lot here about the evolution of PON, uh, G.Fast, obviously a big topic here. But BT's involved in the, the development and trialing of a, a, of a network technology that maybe is not so well known, and that's long reach VDSL, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So OpenReach have deployed fiber to 91% of the UK now, or super fast speeds, I should say. Um, we're using standard VDSL to do, that, do the majority of that. Um, in the hard to reach areas, and we're going to go to 95% next year, in the hard to reach areas beyond 95%, we're, we're training technology called Long Reach VDSL, okay. and that will help us to meet the government's USO of 10 megabits. Okay. Uh, we've got a trial going in Sussex and one in the, the Isle of Lewis in Scotland, which was a bit of a logistical uh, event. Right. Um, and in Sussex, we're now seeing speeds uplifted by 30 megabits on average. So it's a huge uplift in speeds for those customers who, who've got long reach BDSL. Okay. And so long reach means what in this context? Um, what we're effectively doing, we're, we're doing two things. We're doing boosting the power and the lower frequencies, and we're doing vectoring. Uh, that allows us to up the speeds. Now, as we move forward, we tend to trial this in larger volume, sort of next, next calendar year. But to do that, we're going to have to work very closely with our communication providers because okay. we'll have to migrate some of the customers from their existing ADSL-based services to the, the faster, long-reach VDSL services. Okay. So we're working with industry now to look at how we can do bigger and larger trials starting next year. Okay. And is this a technology that's, uh, that doesn't involve any kind of uh, street cabinets? Is this from an exchange all the way to a customer? The beauty of it is we use existing street cabinets and we just do a configuration change there which okay. allows us to then boost the speeds. So okay. we really will be using it to, to uplift those customers who previously wouldn't have got very good VDSL speeds. Okay. And is this a technology that uh, is being sort of uh, uh, trialed and tested by other operators as well, or is this something that, that if, if essentially BT Overreach is kicking off? It, it's, a, it's a British invention that we're driving forward. Okay. It is actually relatively straightforward from a, a standards perspective in terms of we could do it now. With amendments to the standards, we can improve the speeds further. Okay. And so, so that's one technology that you're sort of uh, bringing to market and looked at to develop along with the, the broadband broader community. Yeah. And now that's something that's already happened with G.Fast over the past couple yeah. of years. It's really evolved uh, probably over the last two years from a, a technology that was uh, um, short range from yeah. a dis distributed distribution point yeah. to the customer. And now we're talking about uh, GFAST from street cabinets over longer distances. Yeah. What, what's the latest from the trials you've been doing? So we've got some trials going in Huntington, in Gosforth, and in Swansea. The trials are proving, we've got 500 customers connected via a number of communication providers, um, covering around about 4,000 premises. The trials are going really well. The speeds are as we'd expect. Um, we're really confident about that technology now. We've had some great feedback from communication providers and from end, end customers okay. who are, are pleased with the reliability and the speed it gives. Okay. And, and we're at the point now which is really exciting where we're going to start deploying this in earnest from the cabinet location with the amendments, the recent amendments to the standards and we'll be rolling that out. We'll have 140,000 homes covered by March uh, 2017. Okay. So long reach VDSL and G.Fast, those are both technologies using the final uh, copper connection yeah. to, to, to premises but also BT is now experimenting a lot more with uh, uh, different fiber technologies. And there was an announcement here yesterday, I believe, about was, yeah. lots of different POM technologies being brought together in a, in yeah. a single instance. Yeah, it's a little known fact that we have the, the largest fiber to the premises network in the UK. But and, and whilst we're, we're, you know, we're, we're looking at that, we're, we, we're not satisfied. So we want to expand that. We announced we're going to go to 2 million homes with FTTP yep. by 2020. Uh, yesterday we announced a really exciting um, innovation where we had we took a standard FTTP circuit, Faber, and on top of that two and a half gigs GPON, we, we put 10 gig symmetric X, XGS PON and also 40, 40 gig next generation PON, right, which wow. is a real endeavor. So we got 52, mega, 52 gigabits on that Faber, same Faber providing those services. So huge innovation, huge potential 
for what we can do with Favourite in the future. Okay, and that's just, and that really is just testing out the capabilities rather than. Well, it's a proof point of where you can go to. Right. Bear in mind okay. that the standards for XGS Pond were only approved back in June. So right. it's, a, it's a real endeavour to come up with that. We work with our, one of our strategic partners, Huawei, to put that in place. And uh, we, we actually provided a university with service uh, with, with you know, the huge bandwidth that they're using now to help with their research. Okay, excellent. Oh, well, great to hear about the innovation from, for, 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 I guess, hard to reach areas with long, long reach VDSL. Uh, GDOT fast for the for the a large chunk of the copper access network and also evolution in PON as well. So a, yeah. a great mix there. Look forward to see how that that rolls out and, and and comes to market in the next couple of years. Peter, thank you. Great, thank. Good to speak to you again.